video, ladies and gentlemen, Spring in this year, and today I am going to be recording a, well, a game that, you know, that just came out to consoles recently, but has been out for a while, only on PC for about like a couple months, you know, last September, basically, and that is Gundam Evolution. Yeah, Gundam Evolution, basically. <laughs> Again, you know, basically this game is basically like a, it's like a, yeah, it's a free-to-play game. Not only is it free-to-play, but it's also based on my, on one of my favorite anime franchises of all time. Mobile Suit Gundam. Yeah, I've been wanting, yeah, I've been wanting to, you know, I've been wanting to play this game, though, but, you know, I've been wanting to play this game, but, you know, but I don't, I don't have like a, I mean, but when it came out for like PC, for PC at the time, you know, like for, when it came out on PCs for you know, last September, I don't, like, I don't really have, you know, again, like, you know, I would, I mean, I guess I would have played it, but, like, but I don't really have, like, a gaming PC for it, though. I don't really have, like, a gaming PC, so, you know, I guess I mostly, you know, I guess I mostly just wait until, like, the con, like, the console, like, until, like, the console, you know, release, you know, you know, came, and, yeah, you know, and there it is, you know, today's a console release. Yeah, but the game is basically like a hero shooter. Like it's basically like a hero shooter. You know, basically it's you know basically it's like playing Team Fortress 2, Overwatch, and Paladins. You know, I played a lot of Overwatch. You know, obviously, and uh, I did. And I and I and I remember playing. You know, a bit of te Team Fortress 2. When I remember, like in like whenever I remember, like a old former friend of mine. You know, back in middle school, you know, telling me that, hey, you know, that, like, Team Fortress 2 is, you know, you can play that game on, like, for free on Steam. And I'm like, oh, really? Huh, I gotta go and try it out. And that's what I did. I tried Team Fortress 2 at the time. Never played Paladins, but I get the idea that Paladins is basically, again, a hero shooter. It's like a hero shooter. But, yeah. But basically, though, that's basically what this game is. Gonna Evolution is basically like a hero shooter, though. And I guess it's time for me to go and start like a casual, you know, find, you know, for me to find a casual match. Well, I guess I'm gonna go and continue on, you know, rambling, because, you know, because you know I have to reach level, I have to reach all the way to level 20 just so that I can, you know, just so I can try out ranked matches. But I did play, I did play, you know, I did play like plenty of matches, and I, you know, I also did complete like practically. So far, I completed like, you know, I completed like, you know, some like the beginning, like. Plenty of beginner challenges, though. So I think there's only like one challenge left for me, and that's like basically like log into the game for like one day. And that way, you know, I guess by the time I did that challenge, which I guess I gotta log in the, ne the next day, that's when I gotta go and you know, that's when I'm gonna go and get myself a new um, a new ticket. So yeah, but yeah, you know, that's basically what this game is all about: the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise, and you know, and. Again, I'm, I'm I'm basically a fan of the of the Gundam franchise for about like a couple years now. I practically watched a, like I practically watched a lot of animes for it. Not all of it, but I but I watched a lot, both old and new. And there are those and there are some animes I definitely do want to watch. Yeah, and uh, let me see what am I gonna play as? I mean, I try. I mean, I practically tried out everybody. And you know what? I'm gonna go play as uh, the gun tank. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Be, I'm gonna be the. I'm gonna be the gun tank. Cause you know the gun tank is good, but my god, man, my fucking god! Like this game, like this game. I mean, really, like this game. I, I really, I really gotta get good. I really gotta get good at this game, though. I really gotta get good at this game, though. I mean, yeah, I did get some kills here and there, but like, fuck. I need, I need to, I really need to get good. Oh yeah, let me just put this. Yeah, like I said, this game is. Oh, what? I can't even put a spray paint. And eh, whatever. Like I said, the game is basically like Overwatch and uh, Team Fortress 2 and all that. But the game does seem to like have more, like I would say, like more visual. Like I would say, it has I would say it has like more. I I would say it has like more like Overwatch aesthetics into it. But either way, it's still good. Either way, it's still good. Either way, though, you know, it does have like that Overwatch aesthetic, though. Oh fuck! I gotta I gotta I, I gotta get in cover. But hey, at least my team, my fellow teammates are occupying that position. Oh, oh wait, never mind then. Oh fuck, I gotta get back in cover. Yeah. Not only that though, not only that though, but I did, but I noticed like a fellow of my teammates basically just, I noticed that a fellow of my teammates basically just died. 
just died, but I could revive them. And, I, and that's the thing, though. Like, you know, I don't really need to be, like, a healer or anything like, anything like that. In fact, this game doesn't even have any roles. Everybody is DPS. And they just use their own abilities. All right, yes, we're going in there. Ah, oh, crap. They're trying to capture that position. I saw... I. Ah, oh, damn it. That, that teammate just died. Yeah. Ooh, three-player kill streak. Oh, nice. I never knew that I had a three-player kill streak. Oh, four-player kill streak. Ah, oh, now I'm getting good at this. Again, I've been playing. Pl I've been playing. Oh fuck, Barbatos. Been the Barbatos. Knock yeah, get him down. There, he's destroyed. Yeah, like I said, you could basically revive anybody in this game. You just gotta make sure that they don't die. Oh crap. Oh, oh, new position. Right. Yeah. So basically, though, yeah, I mean, we're basically just capturing positions. That's the thing I think in, the, in what this match is. Just capturing positions. But you know. Oh fuck it. Fucking Ashamar. Fucking Ashamar. Or should I say Asimar? Because, you know. You know, I mean, you know. You know it starts off with two, with an A and an S. Two S's, basically. It's like saying ass and fuck it, whatever. It's just, a little, it's just a little pun, okay? It's a little pun. That's basically what this is. It's a pun. Whoa. That, that Dom. That Dom really got me. You know, the fact that, you know, the fact that there'd be a Dom here. I'm surprised, really, that there isn't any other two Doms. Well, one of the Doms had to be, like, a rig Dom. And that'd be piloted by Gaia. Yeah, where the hell are the Black Tri-Stars? I want to, oh, if only the Black Tri-Stars are, he, are here. I, I would have heard their Texas ax, their Texan accent. Yeah, that Texan accent. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. You know, that, oh, my God, you know. Yeah, I I love the dub of the original Gundam 0079 anime. The first Gundam 0079 anime has a really good dub. It really does. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I guess I'm back in action after I after I got I got after I got killed there. Let me see if I can revive anybody. Ah oh, fuck, the Methus. Ah oh, fuck, even the Ash Asimar. Who who got me? I don't think I don't think it was uh, I don't think it was the Asimar that got me. Look, I know it's look I know it's called Asimar, but I mean come on. I mean every I mean every Gundam fan should like at least you know give it a pun. Then again, no, I think it's a pun for for the entirety of the Gundam fandom. Again, I've watched a lot of Gundam animes. I've been a fan of that franchise for about like two years now, and it's good. Hopefully, we get some more mobile suits in this game, like the like the like the, you know the. You know, like the, uh, like the Gundams from Wing Gundam, like the, you know, like the Wing Gundam Zero, Death Scythe, Heavy Arms, you know, Sandrock, oh fuck. Maybe we might even get, maybe we might even get Gundams from Mobile Fighter G Gundam, like the God Gundam. Or in America, they pronounce it as Burning Gundam. Yeah, Burning Gundam. Yeah, and I got wrecked right there. Yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like my, me and my fellow yeah, it looks like the enemy teammates are. I'm not. Oh, I might be. Oh, I thought I was being revived for a moment there, but not really. Ooh, and I can also summon my ultimate. Hell oh, yes. Yeah, let me just dash all the way quickly. And that's the thing about this game, though. It also has dashing as well. It also has dashing and flying. Well, somewhat flying, more like you're just like hovering, I think. Oh. Oh damn. Yeah, get wrecked. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. I'm, oh, oh, I kill him? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I literally killed that Dom. Oh, fuck. There's an Ashamar. Quick. Quick. You. You and the Pale Rider saved me. God damn it, Pale Rider. You did not save me. You could have saved me. I was literally right there. All right, but uh, right, I'm, I'm going to have to go and use my ultimate. I'm going to be in this spot right here, and I'm about to use my ultimate. Let me see, uh, what? Ooh! Oh! Nice! Using the core fighter like it's some, like it's some bomb. Oh, hell yes. That's what I like. Yeah. Oh, let me go save that Sazabi. There you go. I revived that Sazabi. You should be thanking me. See? At least I revived the fe- Oh, yeah. At least I revived the fellow teammate. Like a certain fellow teammate. Oh yeah, they're definitely pushing in. Oh, thank you, Zaku. Oh, thank you, whoever, like, the Zaku too. Thank you for pilot. 
I kill that uh, Zaku 2 player. Oh, we won. Oh, we fucking won! Oh, nice. We won. Okay, so my team are basically the Earth Noids, and we basically just beat the Space Noids in this round. Mm, nice. Yeah, that's the thing about like, the Gundam franchise. The Gundam franchise is known for having conflicts between the Earth Noids and the Space Noids. And no, it's not an alien thing. Uh, should I be Gun Tank? Yeah, I'm gonna go be Gun Tank. I'm actually just gonna start being Gun Tank. Because I'm really- I'm getting really good as Gun Tank. And no, it's not like a human versus alien conflict. It's basically just human versus human. You know, the Gundam universe, everybody, like, you know, there be hu- Like, there- people are not only living in Earth, but they're also living in space colonies called Sides. And even the moon. There's even a city on the moon. Yeah. So wait, I'm a- so basically though, yeah, I guess I'm an Earthnoid then. Yeah, I'm basically Team Earthnoid. Yeah. I'm Team- I'm Team Earthnoid. Yeah, the Earth Federation. But then again, though, that's the Universal Century timeline, though. But then again, though, I do remember, like, this... Then again, though, I do remember Gundam Iron Blood Orphans actually do having, like, you know... I remember there's, like, episodes that involve... Like, an episode that involves, like, you know, like, in some space colony where there'd be, like, a protest. Where these people are, like, protesting against, like, Gallarhorn. And yet the Gallarhorn just shot them all up. They shot those innocent, peaceful protesters. Those protesters that just want to, like... You know, that I guess, you know, that... I don't know, that just don't want to be, I guess, mistreated by, yeah, mistreated, yeah, abused, you know, oppressed by Gallarhorn. Yeah, the Earth government, basically. But, you know, it is how it is. Yeah, there's no good guys or bad guys in the Gundam universe. It's more of a morally gray area. Get wrecked, Barbatos. Yeah, you... Yeah, Barbatos is supposed to be like the most like, it's supposed to be like the most one of the most powerful Gundams of all time, and yeah he get and yeah it got wrecked. Ah, uh, rip Barbatos. Rip Barbatos yeah, rip Barbatos indeed. And yeah, and you know, and i you know the, yeah, and I know that I came back just now, but like, you know, me as a gun tank get wrecked. But then again though, I mean gun tanks do I mean gun tanks do get destroyed, so yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, let me see. Up. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, so much for me ever reviving that. Yeah, so much for me reviving that dude. One of my fellow teammates. I mean, and again, though they're everywhere. They're fucking everywhere. We really need to get in there. Oh damn, Barbatos. The freaking Barbie. Hey, get away from me, Barbie. Fuck, Barbie. Quick, somebody kill this. Mikazuki Agus! Get away from me, Mikazuki Agus! Son of a bitch! Yeah, Tekken must be strong in that one. Tekken must be pleased with that Barbatos, you know, pilot. Whoever be controlling- whoever be controlling that Barbatos, Tekken salutes you. Yeah. Alright then. Let me s all right then. Ooh, I get ooh, I get final blows. Oh hell yes! It's all about them final blows, I guess. Ah oh, crap! Quick, get away! Oh, my ultimate! Oh hell yes! I'm gonna go use it. I'm just gonna go find a good distance for me to use it, and I'm gonna blow them up. Hell yes! Up. Oh. Yeah, come on, come on. Alright, this will be- Alright, I think this will be a good spot right here! Let's- Yes! Let's do this! Yeah, buddy! Get wrecked! I did it! I literally used it at the right time! Execute that Methus, I think that's a Methus, right? Ah, oh, crap! That bomb. That's the RX-72 Gundam's- Yeah, the Granddaddy Gundam. RX-72 Gundam Granddaddy Gundam's ultimate. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh damn, Barbatos! Barbat- Oh fuck, Barbatos. Get away from me, Barbatos. Not you again, Barbatos. Why- Yeah, Barbatos really loves me. And he got- the And they got help from- Yeah, the- Yeah, like- Getting help from the turn A. The turn A Gundam. With that sweet, sexy mustache that it has. Yeah. It's funny, really. How the turn A Gundam is the only- You know, the only- the only Gundam, 
Not a mobile suit, just a Gundam that has like a fucking mustache. Whereas every, whereas, whereas every other Gundam mobile suit, every Gundam, yeah, just a Gundam. Not just a, not just a regular average, you know, mobile suit like a Zaku or a Jim or a, or a Jesta or a, or a Graze or an Oz. Leo, yeah. You get the picture, really. These Gundams have like a signature, have a signature looking face. Oh shit. Oh damn. Oh damn! We ca- well yeah, we captured a position though. Oh, I got a three player kill streak. Nice. And I got fucking wrecked. Oh, I'm getting revived. Huh, that means I can get more- that means I can go and continue grinding on some more kill streaks. You can't stop me from getting kill streaks. Kill streaks are- I need kill streaks for my life! Kill streaks are everything. And without kill streaks, I don't know. I don't know what will happen if I don't if you know, without, if if what life would be like without kill streaks. All right then. Uh, yeah, it's okay. So the position is about to be unlocked. We're about to get it. And yeah, we're now getting it. Now we got a hole here. I heard I heard a sound. Whatever it is, I thought it sounds like the. I think it sounds like the Barbatos. Not really. Maybe it is a Barbatos. Oh damn. Fuck. Oh crap. Yeah, it is Barbatos. God damn it, Barbatos. And there's a granddaddy. Gramps got me. Yeah, taking down. Yeah, taking. Ta yeah. You know, taking down the gun tank. Piloted by good old Ryu Jose and Hayato Kobayashi. I wonder if they're ever gonna get. I wonder if they're gonna get ever gonna get the gun cannon into this game. The Arc 7702 gun cannon piloted by Kai Shiden. You're really cool they do. Because that way you got the original white base crew. Yeah. Oh, nice. I got my ultimate unlock. Let's. G yes! Let's do this! Three player kill streak. Nice. Oh fuck! I, I was so I was about to go and revive this Gramps. Whoever's yeah, that's the thing about the Arc 72 Gundam. It's called it's nicknamed the Granddaddy Gundam because it's the very first one, 1979, an oldie, and that Barbatos got wrecked. Oh crap! That fucking ultimate! That fucking ultimate! I gotta get out of that range. All right, yeah, rest revive that Zabi. That yeah, that Sazabi. Oh yeah, we won! Oh hell yes! Nice! We won! Everything ended with a solid victory for the Earth Noids. Them space noids can go suck it. Oh, and I don't get MVP for it for all of that. The Pale Rider, the Pale Rider player gets an MVP and I don't. Oh, but at least I'm part of the top three. That's cool. Two recovers. Really? I only did- I only get credit for two covers? But- 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 I literally used my ultimate where I blow- where I got kill streaks and blowing up the fucking space noids! I should be MVP for getting all that! Oh, so much for that. Oh, not, not only that though. Oh, and I also got like a new thing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I got a new thing. Ooh, 37 kills. Yeah, 37 kills, 9 deaths. Oh my god. That has got to be like the that, This has got to be like the be, wow, this has really got to be like the best match I've ever I've ever done. I guess playing, I mean, I guess playing a bunch of matches, you know, during the day made me, you know, it made me it made me actually get more kills, you know. I guess it made me, you know, it made me like become skilled in this game. And that's good. Cuz you know, yeah, this game's fun. And yeah, I'm level 29. I mean, not level 20. I mean, level 9. I guess I need, like, a level more levels for me to unlock rank matches. But yeah. That was, uh... That was Gundam Evolution right here. Yeah, that was Gundam Evolution right here. Again, like I said, it's a hero shooter game. And it's a fun hero shooter game, and I liked it. I do want to talk more about the, about the, about the entirety of the Gundam franchise. But... I guess maybe that would be like another video, maybe a chill video. Yeah, maybe I might do a chill. Maybe I might do a chill talk video at some point. Oh, that reminds me. I also got like the fact that I got a new player icon. Let me see if I could put that player icon on me. Yeah, the Amaro, the Amaro, yeah, the Amaro sigil. 
Yeah, the Amaro Ray mark. Charge counterattack. Yeah, that's what the season is all about. It's all about Charge counterattack. Such a great gun in the movie from the 80s. I love it. A classic, but it's good. Nicely well animated. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so yeah. Yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah. Like I did say, like, you know, like I did say, uh, I'll indeed, um, I'll indeed may maybe, like, make up, like, I don't know, maybe, I mean, yeah, maybe some other time I'll probably talk about, like, the Gundam franchise. And not only that, though, but I could also probably talk about, like, you know, about other animes, too. Maybe, maybe talk about, like, the, maybe talk about the mecha genre. I love giant robots. I love mecha. Mecha. Yeah. I feel like that when it comes to my favorite anime genre, it's probably gotta be mecha. Because I love, because I love giant robots. Yeah, I love giant mechs. But, uh, yeah. But either way, though, yeah. This game's, you know, you know, I will indeed be recording more of this game. And, yeah, you know, and obviously, though, like, you know, like, obviously, though, like, yeah, you know, this, you know, this video is going to come to an end. So, yeah, there will indeed be some more Gundam Evolution videos. Because, you know, I guess it's because considering that this is basically my, like my first Gundam Evolution video that I've done. But there will also be some other multiplayer, you know, videos from other games. And I hope, you know, and I hope y'all did enjoy watching this video. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Be sure to be, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I'll be seeing you guys on next video.